Okay, so we've got Whole Foods, we've got hydration, and um, we've got sort of sourcing. I mean, down uh, that fourth thing. What so you got? with the sourcing, ultimately you want to minimize the time between harvest and consumption because you're going to be able to capture the greatest amount of nutrition uh, availability within that item itself because just like anything, it's living when it's connected to the thing that feeds it its life, right? And so when a plant is in the ground or on a tree, it is still getting its nutrition pulling from the roots of that thing. Once it is harvested and pulled from that body, it is now beginning a, a ticking clock that goes from a point of maybe if they if they picked it a little underripe, which is what a lot of these people have to do so that it can swing its time, try to achieve a level of ripeness, and then it goes and it wanes once more and it starts to break down. But if you can minimize that time between harvest and consumption, you're gonna be able to capture the greatest bioavailability of the nutrition that's in that. Uh, so that means finding a local farmer's market, uh, if you can, in your area, and there's almost certainly, if you live in the modern world, even more so probably in some of these, you know, under or less developed nations, you can find yourself a farmer's market. Just Google it, go to your uh, city's website, and they'll often actually tell you if there's a farmer's market there. Uh, and then that's going to be a really great, great way to find people locally who are growing a lot of these foods that you can get, which are going to be a far better alternative nutritionally and often even price-wise versus going to a place like Publix who's going to tax you for some, you know, number three, four, seven, eight, two, three, nine, whatever GMO'd out the wazoo ass food that then is also covered in these crazy things. So you want to do that, which is also going to have another second order benefit of supporting your local economy and keeping the money circulating in that environment versus sending it off to one of these conglomerates that's then going to send it out of the country to some other conglomerate holding company and uh, that whole cycle there. So it's an easy way to stay tapped in with the community, get more nutritionally available food, uh, and also save a little bit of money if you can source it as locally as you can. And if you can't do that, find grocery stores that try to do that, like Sprouts. Uh, Trader Joe's tries to do that to the best of their ability. But it's just really about being an informed consumer. You know, do you want to eat uh, a tomato that came from California? If you could get one that came from Georgia, if you're in Georgia, I would just think logically somebody could see the value in that versus getting the thing that sat on a truck, you know, for two, three, four, five days, maybe longer. You know, even from a sanitation standpoint, like, you know, where was this truck sitting? You know, like, anyhow, mm -hmm. 